Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Hey, thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, the one they call Brian Grace Gibbs. These are my story. What I talk about, I talk about the good, I talk about the bad, I talk about the ugly. I talk about right now, it's time to how do we uplift each other? How do we empower, encourage? How do we stop that crab in the barrel mentality? How do we get our young brothers and sisters to understand that there's no shortcut in life? Only thing come fast is trouble, easy to get into, hard to get out. Hey folks, listen. You know what today, what I'm gonna talk about is this, man. You know, here it is, a picture, a photo. Sometimes it's worth a thousand words. A photo is worth a thousand words. You know, I discovered, came across this picture of these individuals. And you know what, you start thinking, your mind start racing. Wait a minute, hold on, what's going on here? Here it is right now, when you got a film producer, Luke Stevens, okay, right now, check out his background or whatever. And you got Marquan Smith the executive producer of one of the top show, The Godfather of Harlem. Now, you got them. They got Tommy, Tommy Montana, AKA Tommy making sandwich in. You know, got Mark Juan on one side, Luke on the other side, and Tommy Mickens on them in the inside like a sandwich. And when you sit back and you look at it, man, mm, I'm scratching my head. I'm like right now, that little kid in those memes, like, you know, like, whoa. What the heck is this about? Because once again, right now is, we all know Mark Juan, okay, Smith, executive producer, once again, for the Godfather Harlem, one of the hottest show that's out there. And a lot of times when these guys get out there and they got success, you know what, what they looking for is the next project. What is the next big project or the next series that they can work on? And to me, anybody, Google Tommy Montana, Tommy Mickens, the poor little rich boy. Like I said, I did a couple of pieces on Tommy. Tommy's from Queens. And people don't understand that. When you listen to 50 Cent talk about him and his rap Larry, you listen to Nas speak about him several times. Even when Tommy first came home, he got a picture of him and Nas. You know, Tommy was one of those young guys, went away, okay? He was into the illegal activity, selling illegal narcotics. But it's like right now, at a young age, I'm talking about this guy has Rolls Royce. Okay, Lamborghini, I'm talking Porsche. He had a mansion in Dix Hill, Long Island, helicopter. I'm saying you name it. He had places in California. I can remember, you know, one time when we both was in MCC back in 88 when we caught the case. And to me right now, when I was in MCC, you know, here it is. This guy used to be in MCC in jail on a phone, you know what I'm saying, talking to Magic Johnson, who was like right now a superstar ball player in the NBA at the time. So I'm saying he used to be on the phone, we in jail, and he's talking to him like, you know, like, yo, it ain't nothing or whatever. So what I'm trying to say right now was if you Google Tommy Mickens, Tommy Montana, and you look at it, they couldn't get him basically on drugs. So they basically got him on tack evasion. Okay? Now, when you sit back and you look at it out of everybody during that period of time, I'm talking about for him. You know what I'm saying? Fat Cat, Prince, Preem, the Coolies, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that was out there from that section right now is most of us was associated with violence, death, murders, not Tommy. The bottom line is right now is Tommy was somewhat squeaky, squeaky clean. And that's why I think right now was guess what? He came home for doing 35 years. And right now is guess what? Not only that, he's into health and fitness with the elderly, getting them back in shape. And something that he say right now kind of struck me. I was like amazed and I love it because once again, he's saying right now he got out and he got into health and fitness, especially for the elderly, because when he was away, he lost his beloved mother to a massive stroke. And when you sit back and you think about it, it's like, you know what, what can he do? How do he get back? And what he did was he came home and open up shop, open up fitness center, open up different like program, you know, for the elderly to get back. And like I said right now, from my understanding, he's doing extremely well. So when you look at it and you see what's going on and you see Marquan Smith, the executive producer from, you know what I'm saying, uh, Godfather Harlem, and you see Luke Stevens, shout out, another film producer, 
trying to make it and you see them right there with Tommy Mickens, guess what? What they saying they self, listen, 50 is not going to get all the stories. 50 is not going to get all the series. So the difference right now is they like, man, look, we going out to them. And we know the Tommy Mickens and Tommy Montana story can be very, very, very powerful. Hey, listen, folks, hit that like button. Hit your subscribe button. Share. Donate. Also, right now is, guys, get your signed copy of Beyond Lucky, the Brian Glaze Gibbs story, a true story of crack, money, murder, and redemption. If I can change, anybody can change. If you know any people that's out there that's suffering from high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high weight, high sugar, get your panoxa, folks. Get your panoxa. Right now, it's, once again, natural. Natural ingredients that can help save your life, your family life, your father, your mother, your sister, your brother, your grandparent, your wife, your kids. Come on, folks. Get your panoxo. Hey, peace, love, prosperity. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. One love. Have you checked your tire pressure today? I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick. much Brian gifts I love this book so much I mean I was a fan of your YouTube channel but now I'm like a real up close and personal fan I really love what you have going on here and not only that but I too was once lost and now I'm done so thank you Brian for this autographed copy I appreciate you Just got my copy of Beyond Lucky by Brian Glaze Gibbs. Thank you so much for sending me my personalized autographed copy. I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long time, so I'm really excited to get to know some of your stories and what made you you and how this redemption came about. I know you're a changed man, and I'm looking forward to seeing the whole process of how it happened. Thank you.